Hello, this is the first video in the eCount Building Software Tutorial series. In this video, we are going to see all settings available with eCount 8.001 Building Software. The topics covered are overview of eCount 8.001, company settings, create a user, change password, Print range and setting, user screen right and user menu rights, as well as the backing up of database. Let us start. Here is the shortcut. The default user is admin and default password is a select the financial year you are want to you want to log in. Is the main screen in the admin menu you can give the company settings here is the company name suburb uh, GST number address phone number and the state code you can also set the logo for printing the thermal printer heading And here you can set the thermal print head font size as well as its length the head size and the here is the address size and its length here we can set the company logo select the company logo and save the details by applying the apply button and uh, now the second option here is a uh, create a user you can create a user here give the username and password save it and the other option is the changing the password you can change the password of all the user Give by giving username and old password and give the new password then save it the next option is the printer and general setting in printer and general setting you are setting the printer option as per your requirement here there are those printing options windows printing option and thermal printing option you can set as per your printer Here is the phone printer rollback. It is for the DOS printing. You can roll the printer before starting printing and roll the printer after completing the printing. So set the number of lines for rolling back or rolling forward as per your requirement. Here is the barcode heading for printing the barcode. Here is the security setting for printing the purchase rate in the barcode. You can convert the numeric into alphabets and the alphabet will be printed on the barcode. Here is the currency and here is the bill head that is the tax invoice or invoice whatever you are required you can put the invoice heading here is the greeting if you want to print a greeting in the bottom of the print you can mention the greetings here as well as you can mention the come bank details here in the notes so the bank details will be printed at the bottom of a, a windows pre more printing as well as the those printing here we can change the settings like rate including GST. Rate including GST means the total the rate you are given will be including GST. That means if you are giving 100 rupees and the GST percentage is 12, so 88 plus 12, total 100 will be calculated. So if it is with the GST is included, is included. 
the rate should be given us with GST rate. If it is unchecked, you should give the rate as without GST rate. That is the selling rate. You can change the other settings as per your requirement. And here is the B2B and B2C setting. If, the, if you are using a wholesaler, you can set, set the form type as B2B, that is business to business. And if you are a retailer, you can set it as B2C, that is business to customer. Here we can set the prefix of the bill. That you will, will start with the A for B2B billing and bill with the B with the B2C billing. After changing the settings, just save the details so the details are updated and close this button. The next one is the user screen rate. Select the user and select the type category. Here is the list of screens available with the, that particular category. So you can enable or disable the checkboxes. If the checkbox is enabled, the, the screen will be enabled while logging in to the software. Or if the screen is unchecked, the software, the screen will be disabled. Like a sales group settings. So, enable or disable the screen permissions as per your requirement. So whatever screens you require, just enable it. This menu will be enabled only for the admin user. The, all these options are enabled only for the admin user. For users, these menus are disabled. The last option is menu, user's menu right. Select the user, select the type and select the screen. And give whatever permissions you required for that particular user. Just if I am disabling these two options, apply it. And if you are opening this sales voucher, it will have only two options like add and view. So you are enabling the cancel and modify options. So it will have four options add, modify, view, and cancel. So set the permissions as per your requirement. The last option is here is the backing up of the database. You can back up the database for security purpose. Just select the folder and give the backup file name. So uh, you can save the database as its backup. So that's all for this video. You will see in the next video about the master settings and master screens. So, for till then, just goodbye. Have a nice day.